think a lot of students have just gotten another sense of how to belong and how to create relationships outside of what were the traditional avenues. And a lot of my students talk about how they feel safe in the eSports program, and that's their family, that's their community. And I think that eSports gives kids a future that they might otherwise not have. Man, I wish that had been available when I was in high school. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our coverage of the Play vs. Fall 2019 Championships. Today, we have a special treat for you, a doubleheader. And to take you through the action, I will be your host today, Necra. Now, we will be starting today in Alabama, where we'll see who will take home the title for Rocket League and League of Legends. Our four finalist teams are competing on site at the Eplex in Birmingham, Alabama. The Eplex was created precisely for events like this, and we are so excited that our players have a chance to play there today. First up, we have Rocket League for the second season of esports in Alabama with the Alabama High School Athletics Association. The two teams competing today are going to be Virgil Grissom Tigers versus the Bob Jones High School Fusion. The Bob Jones High School Fusion have had a tough season, persevering through lag, delayed low times, etc., on the school's Mac computers. Despite these boundaries, the players have stayed dedicated and are here to take on the reigning undefeated champions of Virgil Grissom. They were our champions for our spring 2019 Play vs. Championship Series. But without further ado, to bring you through the action, we've got our two amazing casters, Kios and Perino. Thank you, Necra, and welcome everyone to the caster desk. As she said, my name is Perino. I am joined by my co-host, Kios. Kios, we have two great Rocket League teams coming head-to-head -to -head today in the Alabama final. Yeah, great to be here. Excited to be with you, Perino. First time we've been together here. We've got a great match for you guys tonight. Absolutely. We have the Virgil Grissom High School Tigers. They are undefeated coming into it. They have a highly impressive 21-3 individual game record. They do not lose very often, but they are going against a very skilled opponent in the Bob Jones High School. Yeah, sometimes that confidence gets you a little bit too cocky, but we'll see if they can defend their title because these guys have looked amazing all season. They certainly have, and the experience as well of being in this spot previously and winning is so valuable. Being able to play this well under pressure, you have everything on the line. It is so, so big as, again, we take a quick look over at our bracket. You can see some interesting, uh, interesting matchups here. We didn't have our one and our two seed make it to the final. We had a little bit of chaos in this bracket. Well, the Grissom went through Loveless Rotate More as well as BR Wildcats to get to this and BGS High School Fusion. BJHS High School Fusion, they went for went through the PHSE Bulldogs as well as the Warriors Rocket, uh, Rocket League here. So both these teams coming through a, a long bracket and ready for this final. They most certainly are ready. And I want to I wanna explain to our viewers as well, for those who may be new to Rocket League who are joining us for the first time, it's an interesting premise for an eSport, isn't it? Having rocket-powered cars play soccer but can you tell us a little bit about the basics of Rocket League? What are we looking for in our players and in, in our matchup today? Well, as you said, it's going to be a, a, basically a game of soccer with cars, which means there's going to be a lot more aerials. You can use that rocket boost to get up in the air, and also you can get some double jumps to reset. So there's going to be a lot of technical things in the air, but also on the ground going super fast on those cars all around. And it'll be a great game here. We're going to have a basically five-minute games here with potential for overtime if it is all evened up at the end of that here. And it's going to be a best of seven. Yes, so it will be the first team to find four victories in this best of seven will ultimately be crowned the AHSAA state champions for Rocket League. You know, looking at the matchup, I think the experience is such a big key here. Being in this spot already, having taken the title in the first season, coming back to defend it, 
Virgil Grissom, I think, should be considered the favorite. I, I would say so, right? They've they've proven they are the best. They've only dropped one game, which is, I mean, incredible, um, considering that Rocket League is such a volatile game. You can go up or down in just a few seconds here. We've seen that teams can score, you know, two, three goals in just like 30 seconds or so. It's an incredibly fast-paced game, and to be that dominant all the way through is quite amazing here. So what would the challengers now do to come combat these guys because they've looked so good what do you think the opening is for these yeah, guys Yeah, so for bob jones they've actually taken an interesting path to this final right because they didn't come in as one of the top ranked seeds into the final bracket but they got hot at the right time they have clearly played well to get to this point i think you just have to play with no fear as we jump into taking a look at our player profiles we have caleb josh and jacob Looking at their favorite snacks, movies, and esports athlete, I do have to say I immensely respect every single player picking a Rocket League pro as their favorite esports athlete. Well done to them. Yeah, NRG, one of the most dominant teams here. So these guys definitely look up some of the best players in the world. I also love uh, Ready Player One. Great movie shot there. But again, we're going to switch over to Virgil Grissom High School. We have Kevin, Kyle, and Ian. Same questions, a little bit different answers. Two uh, double mentions for Rizzo here, who is a professional player for G2. He'll be rooting on for those guys as the RLCS starts tomorrow. Yeah, these guys clearly pay a lot of attention to the professional scene, so they've definitely seen some of the highest level Rocket League there is out there. Maybe they can implement some of that strategy into their own game. Let's sure hope so. I also want to give another great shout out. Favorite movie, Interstellar, that is phenomenal movie choice. I love Interstellar. It's one of the best films in the past 10 years, I think. Easily. I, great science fiction film. I've seen that movie like two or three times. Still blows my mind every time. I just can't get, like the CGI in that thing is incredible. And the soundtrack too is amazing. I actually have that soundtrack on my Spotify. So great. Just to listen to the the tense dramatic music. It I, it serves as a great uh motivation tool almost to i it's funny i listen to it myself when i play rocket league i do play a little bit but yeah i i think that you can draw some of the inspiration there to to really rise to this occasion again having fought to get to this point it's just only a few seconds away now we're jumping right into it game number one between virgil grissom and bob jones right off the start a great save coming out. And a lot of action already around the goal here, but the, it's going to be knocked back into the corner here, trying to maybe get a center back towards the enemy goal as already a lot of collisions coming through. And I love the early, early pressure, forcing out a great save as that touch off the backboard. Not quite there, but this will allow our teams here to sort of sit and reset and find some pathing towards the net. Now already the ball being knocked back towards and I think we're in our first goal already almost 30 seconds in game or two with the first goal of this series. Yes, and this is such a nice play here. Following up his own touch off the wall, just getting that bounce. It's perfectly placed. Bob Jones High School taking the lead. You love to see that. Yeah, great start for them. Bob Jones already off to a great start here in this best of seven. We'll see if they can follow it up here. Virgil Grissom, though, not going to be out of this one just yet. We got a lot of Rocket League to play here as some more collisions there around that goal, but now being knocked back down here. Bob Jones trying to go up another two goals. So that'd be big in game one, coming in as the underdogs, I think. That'd be amazing for them to continue. Get this game one win as well as just do it in a, a dominant fashion here as we get some more action around the Virgil Grissom goal. Looks like no one quite able to slot one shot on net yet, but it's going to come back out to midfield. I love the early pressure from Bob Jones. They are playing with no fear whatsoever. They know how good the other team is. They're working on those passing plays. They're applying so much pressure in front of the goal. They've already got one goal doing it. Let's see if they can find a second. Now well, Virgil Grissom though wants to even up that score here. More collisions around the midfield. Both these teams being very physical so far as the ball gonna be off to the left side here. Looks like just gonna be Drop back here, Virgil Grissom trying to recover, but here comes Bob Jones on the attack. One shot gonna miss just left of the net here as it goes back towards midfield once again, now on the side of Bob Jones's. Yes, and Virgil Grissom, they have to find a response here, right? It has been all Bob Jones early. I do think they have the skills to get that ball forward, but the passing right now from Bob Jones is so good. They're looking for each other in midfield and on the attack. They're generating those shot attempts. 
but they have to be careful on defense now. Right, nice save there here as the ball back out in the hands of Bob Jones. They put it forward. Virgil Grissom here trying to stop this attempt here. Bob Jones with a shot. Oh, just wide here. It's now going to be picked up in the corner, trying to make it back towards the net here. It's knocked away by Virgil Grissom. Good defending there. Yes, it certainly is as Virgil Grissom now working on that counterattack. Can't quite find a finishing attempt though. I like that Virgil Grissom is starting to use bigger bouncing clearances to get on the attack. They're sort of nullifying the passing between Bob Jones. If they can get a 2v1 or a 3v2, they might be able to break it through. Well, a little bit of collision there in the corner here. Bob Jones trying to get away from their net. Here comes Virgil Grissom, knocked away though. Nice defending there here, back towards midfield. But now back down towards Bob Jones' end. Continuous action. Ball just never really staying still here. Both these teams playing pretty quickly as the ball moves towards midfield. Now knocked down back towards Bob Jones' end. It looks like maybe going for this first goal here. Virgil Grissom, though, not quite enough. Oh, he actually blocked it from his own teammate. That shot not going to go in. Oh, he, he did such a nice, he did everything right up until the very end. Just waited too long on the goal line. You have to turn into the goal to allow your teammate to score. He just denied his own teammate there. Oh, that's such a killer. Not as bad as an own goal, but pretty close here as now Zeno in the right side. Going to get that taken away here. Bob Jones been great on the defense here. Now knocking it back down. Virgil Grissom on the attack. Taka here looking for a shot. And a whoa, just saved there by Gamer2 is now another attempt by Zeno. But this one just going to go wi way wide here as he knocks it back towards the goal once again here. Oh, just off the post. Nice time by Virgil Grissom. And they'll get the score here. Waho going to even up the score line one to one with just a minute left. Yes, and finally that pressure comes through for Virgil Grissom. This pass coming right back in. What great vision to look for his teammate again, feeding him that misdirection pass in front of the goal line. It's so good. Defender has absolutely no chance to stop that. We are once again level with just over a minute to play. And might be looking at an overtime here in game one, though. Oh, good attempt. That's going to be blocked away, though, Virgil Grissom. Now, you know, they've been good on defense here, and now finally find the opening. Maybe they can take this game one after a bit of a rough start for them. They are the favorites coming into this one, but Bob Jones has put up a great effort so far. Is another shot going to come in just wide there, but still blocked away? Another attempt, Gamer 1 looking at it. Not going to be able to go up for the shot just yet, as it's now knocked in the end. Virgil Grissom looking for this goal here, trying to take the lead, but that shot going to go completely the wrong direction as it moves over to the left side of the field here. Waho going to get a touch on it, but not really where he wanted to go with it here as Bob Jones moving in here. Mr. Steel your boost, not going to be able to get the shot on net here as Taka going to knock it back towards the midfield, but Gamer 2 comes in with a shot just wide on the upper left side here as 30 seconds remain. So much pressure coming out from Bob Jones, but they have to be careful. If you overextend at this point, you can't concede a goal at the other end. There's just not enough time left. Overtime is looming. They just have to be careful how they go about it. Now it looks like the ball in Bob Jones' head once again here. Going to be knocked back towards midfield here. Zeno going to put it back in as we get 10, 9, 8 seconds left here. An attempt on goal, but not very close. Here's another follow-up. Timber Taka not going to be there. Three seconds. The ball has to hit the ground before the timer will actually move us to overtime here as one second is left. They're trying to keep it up, but will not be able to. The ball goes down and we're in our overtime. Really smart defensive positioning there from Gamer. Just coming across, clearing it wide, maintaining possession, not allowing a chance for Virgil Grissom. Playing for the overtime, I think it's smart in that spot. Sudden goal, sudden death now, first goal wins. Here we go, attempt in Bob Jones's end, trying to corral that ball, but Virgil Grissom not able to get an attempt here as Gamer 1 comes back on the other side, on the right side, not able to send it there in time. And now back towards midfield, now Virgil Grissom on the attack, but Gamer 2 here in defense, able to knock it back for his team here. As on the right side of Virgil Grissom's goal, now no one able to get a shot off here. Both teams have been great on defense so far, only a 1-1 game, kind of uncommon, usually there's a few more goals, but now they're not able to get anything going in overtime just yet here as now Ball going to be cleared away here by Gamer1, but now an attempt here from Waho. Can he get it in? No, just above the goal. Barely, barely. So close. Almost had that one to open up. Really nice one. attempt from him, trying to read that ball coming down off the backboard, looking for the double touch, trying to be creative to get this goal here. It's going to take a great effort. 60 seconds in, no clear favorite in this overtime, but it can all change so dramatically quickly. Yes, this game's so fast here, bro. This team's been good on defense. The offense hasn't really been there. Has a long shot. Oh, my goodness. What a save by Waho. Just barely getting out before it goes across the goal line here. As, oh, going to miss this one on the defense. Here comes Gamer 2. Oh, it's on the goal line. Oh, finally, Gamer 1 able to tap it in here to take the lead. 1-0 in the series with a 2-1 victory in overtime. And such a 
great initial save for Wayho, but it's just not going to be enough. The pressure is so, so good from Bob Jones High School as they take game number one. They had that great chance at the end. Ball bouncing off the crossbar, off the goal line, back out. It takes all three players to come up. Finally, the third man steps up, takes it down, game number so one. So how does a goal count? Does the whole ball have to go across that goal line to count? Is that why it was just sitting there on the goal line the so long? The entire ball has to cross the line. It is very similar to traditional soccer in that sense. You have to get all of the ball across the entire line. It can sit in that spot dangerously for a very long time, but that – that bounce down, I give so much credit to the third man coming in because that bounce down when it comes out off the crossbar, it's so difficult to predict the angle it comes off the crossbar, right? Coming back up and then back out, you don't know if it's going to go low, if it's going to go high. It can be all over the place, but really smart, really patient. Took the shot when they had it, and yeah, what a great game one from Bob Jones. Yeah, usually there's not an explosion in traditional soccer, but we have that here in <laughs> Rocket League. What What are your takeaways from game one here? Very, very close game here. I mean, Grissom, they look so dominant coming in, but Bob Jones, I mean, they look great in game one. Yeah, it's the patience that actually I really, really like from Bob Jones when they're rotating on defense and on offense for that matter. They're not rushing things. They're taking their time. They're finding good, effective touches they're not panicking. They're not scared of this stage, and that's so big. You know, you have to play with confidence and with their style, with patience. It's worked for them. Clearly, in game one, they were able to find that game winner. Yeah, so is this game pace overall pretty slow, or has the team just been that good on defense that despite a fast pace of play, there just haven't been that many goals? It's been a little bit of both, I think. There's been great defense on both sides. You saw, again, Wayho had a phenomenal save in overtime there, jumping backwards on his own goal line to clear that ball aside. So I do think there has been great defense, but it's difficult to always play so fast all the time on offense as well, you know? There's only so much you can do. Eventually, you have to manage that boost, as you can see from our player view in the bottom right corner. You only get so much, so it's hard to be aggressive all the time. I think part of it is the stage, part of it is the nerves, but we'll see who handles it best game number two. Well, here we're already in. It's 20 seconds in. A first attempt on goal. Nothing going to be found there just yet here as ball back towards midfield now. Bob Jones up 1-0 over Virgil Grissom. Just their second loss all season in terms of game loss as uh, Virgil Grissom now with an attempt. Oh, my goodness. Taka with the first score of this one here. Virgil Grissom going to come out firing here in game two. They didn't like what happened in game one. No, they certainly did not. And I think Gamer1 was perhaps anticipating a touch there from the attacker who was already upfield. He doesn't make contact. That ball just continues towards the net. It's a long shot. It goes in. And that's a really good opener goal for Virgil Grissom. Oh, now another attempt here by Bob Jones. Not going to quite find it. As now the ball back towards midfield. Here comes another attempt for Virgil Grissom. Not able to find anything just yet. Here's ball goes towards the right side. Gamer 2 there. Ball up in the air. Here comes Mr. Julio Poos. Going to knock it back down towards Virgil Grissom's goal. As they are up 1-0 here. Just a minute in of this five-minute game. It's ball up in the air. Gamer 1 going to knock it back down. Once again towards Virgil Grissom's goal. But like this game, this pace of the game has slowed down a little bit here after that first goal. But now the attack is on for Bob Jones. They have the ball up in the air looking to knock it, but no one quite there just yet. Virgil Grissom now have it towards midfield. A big aerial shot here from Gamer 2 getting up real high. The shot on goal. Oh, hits the crossbar. Not quite in. Here comes the follow-up attempt. Gamer 1 here, but not able to get his hands on the rebound. Gamer 2 with the ball. Centers it. No one there to knock it in, though. Unfortunately, the timing was just a bit off here as now... Taka going to knock the ball back towards the enemy side of the field, but not able to quite clear it just yet. Zeno here. Now he'll get it back towards the Gamer 2, knocking it back towards Vig Virgil Grissom's goal. Now in attempt there, not going to quite go on net. Shot's been relatively high, it seems like, so far. Just a little off as now another clearance by Virgil Grissom. What a great offensive sequence from Bob Jones here so far. They had a really nice setup from the midfield. The pass working into that shot, just bouncing in and around that corner. As you said, not quite perfect, though. It's so close, but they're certainly they're taking their oh, time. Mr. Shillier boost with a shot. Great save there. Almost uh, an evening goal as the ball comes back towards Virgil Grissom's net. And a big collision in midair here. Mr. Shillier boost with another attempt trying to center it. No one there once again knocked away here by Virgil Grissom. Gamer 1 back to collect this ball and knock it back down for another attempt here. Dribbling it upfield on the right side. Knocked away, though. Good defense by Virgil Grissom once again. Now oh, Gamer I love one. Shot. passing. Oh, just above the net. Oh, and that one's to the right, but a follow-up. The third shot, third time's the charm. Mr. Julia Boost with the evening goal here. And this is exactly what I'm talking about with the patience. Look how slow and easy they take this from the midfield to your attacker upfield. Back off the post. 
using all three players. So nicely done across all three members of that Bob Jones team there. I love the technical precision that they're using to score. And great follow up here about halfway through this game as it's tied one to one once again here, a low scoring game, but that could all change in the next coming minutes. Mr. Chili Boost with a good block, knocks that one away. Taka here with a follow up looking for another shot, but knocked away mid by Mr. Chili Boost once again. Gamer two with a follow up, but he gets beaten to that one by Zeno as it's in uh, Bob Jones's end here trying to clear it away as ball goes dangerously in front of the net, but no one there to knock it in. Gamer two looking for the pass from Mr. Julio Boost. He's going upfield, looking for a shot pretty far away. Going to hit the left side of that net, which is wide of the net actually as Waho here, but not able to get on that one as Gamer one now going up the field to defend it away once again by Zeno. Both these teams have been great on defense, trying to find an opening here, but it's just been back and forth the whole time. It certainly has. I think Bob Jones really has had the better of it outside of their you know, opening conceding goal. They, they've just been able to string the passes together and build that pressure on offense. I really think it's working for them. Even though they're not scoring often, they're keeping Virgil Grissom pinned within the long path. shot here. The, that's on the goal line. Is it going to go in? It's just sitting there on the goal line, cleared away. But Gamer 1 with a follow up. He'll finish that one. Gamer 1. Now with a 2-1 lead for his side, great job there. This is a big lead for Bob Jones, already up one game in the series here against Virgil Grissom, the defending champions with only one game loss. I mean, they could double that right here. They absolutely could. It, it, it brings us to our earlier point about that ball sitting on that goal line, right? It has to go all the way over. You can see the ball just lurking and sitting right in front of the net. They almost had a clearance away, but again, Gamer 1 just jumping right in front of it and clearing that up. So here comes Taka, long shot, hits the left side, not quite on net here. One minute remaining, two to one is the score. Bob Jones up as Mr. Chili Boost looking to knock this one away from his end. Gonna be collected here by Zeno most likely as he comes back down, just dumping <laughs> the ball back and forth here. Is now an attack on the net, not gonna be quite there. The rebound though, and that'll be it. Waho with the score. A long distance attempt and the rebound goes in. Yes, and really smart positioning here. He knows the defender's trying to go to the opposite side of the post. He just reads the play really well. He's in the right spot at the right time. Finding the ball into that far corner, absolutely unsavable. Dare, dare I say we get in overtime again? Yeah, I mean, two to two here, only 40 seconds left. Gamer one, not gonna find that attempt. Good defense once again here. So, oh, another shot. Zeno not going to be able to stop it. Mr. Stillier boost with the goal here. Maybe not over time. He caught a little bit too early. Cursed him. Mr. Stillier boost here, even make it, or actually taking the lead three to two now over Virgil Grissom. And what speed on that play as well. Finding the recovery, making the challenge. That ball just swinging right back in front of the net. Mr. Stillier boost is able to Mr. Steal that goal. <laughs> jumping right in front of the near post, knocking it home. It's a deserved lead for Bob Jones. Yeah, so 30 seconds left now. Looks like Virgil Grissom on the attack. They have to score a goal to force this one into overtime. And they're already down one game. Not feeling great about this one. As here comes Mr. Chilly Boost up the field once again. Knocked away here. Virgil Grissom only 15 seconds left to even up the score. But Mr. Chilly Boost looking for a goal. He's going to get it 4-2. to two. This one is not going to go to overtime. I think Bob Jones looking to go up 2-0. Yes, and what a great bump here from Mr. Studio Boost. Just looking for that last man. He knows that Virgil Grissom, they have to position aggressively to try and make the transition from defense to offense. Just bumps the last player right out of the way, sets himself up, taps it in, and yeah, that looks like it's game for Bob Jones. Only five seconds left here, two goals needed, and it looks like Virgil Grissom have conceded this one. Trying for one last attempt here, but won't even get the chance. That's gonna be it, Bob Jones up 2-0. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden Virgil Grissom on the back foot, down 2-0 here, and this is an amazing start from Bob Jones. They look so good here, and take game two with a, a little bit of a different style. Four goals that time around, as opposed to two in game one, which actually took overtime, or game one, yeah. Yeah, I think they're starting to build their confidence as the games continue to go on. They're still working that patient passing style, but now you notice when they're really pushed forward, they're not afraid to just jump right at it. That third goal is a great example. They saw an opportunity, and Mr. Sterling Boost just coming in hot, coming in aggressive, finding the goals in the spaces that they can get. I mean, this has been a great start here. What, what does Virgil Grissom need to do to come back? Because as we talked about their, their dominance throughout this season, they got here with just one loss. And now that has been doubled here in just the first two games of this series. What do they have to do to recover? Because they, they looked fine, but they don't look like they're the dominant team that they are. 
No, I think I think the challenge has really been taken to them at this point. I think the key is you have to reset. You have to take a deep breath. Okay, you're down two games to nothing, right? But you know the quality of your team. You know the quality of your teammates. You have to have the trust and the faith. I think you have to stick to your game plan and work with your strengths. All right, here we are in game number three. Bob Jones up 2-0 here. Zeno trying to clear this one away here, but two members up for Bob Jones looking for an attempt on goal, not able to get it. Taka now trying to move the ball back up field here. Gamer one not able to defend that one. Mises Chilabu is coming in though. Doesn't hit the ball, but hits a player as it's going to be in the corner now for Bob Jones. They'll get it back up field here. No, here comes Taka. He's going to knock it into the right side as now Zeno here with another attempt, but he's going to miss that one. Mrs. Chilabu is able to dodge that one, but now Virgil Grissom on the attack once again. Zeno looking for a centering pass here. And uh, the ball's just sitting in front of the net. But, Cleared away, though, by Mr. Steel Abuse, trying to move it back upfield here and now into Virgil Grissom's end. I like the idea from Zeno there to just bump that player out of the way. He, they're trying to create more offensive chances, and an easy way to do that is simply to remove the defenders from the play, as this one is a great pass. It comes right down to Waho. He's in a great spot, just absolutely knocks it home. The clearance bounces right back into him, and he rips that thing in. Great goal to start this off. Virgil Grissom now, they've gone down 2-0, but they're fighting back here 1-0 now. Four minutes in, but I think that's a great moral victory to start off with a goal here in game number three. It certainly is, and I love the respect from Bob Jones High School as well. Putting it out there in the quick chat, it was a nice shot. He absolutely clobbered that thing in the top corner. Oh, oh just barely wide. Mrs. Chile Boo's looking for another goal, but not able to uh, get that one there as now the attack on Virgil Grissom, though, able to clear that one away here as we're Three minutes, 45 seconds in, a long shot attempt, just gonna be wide right. As now, looks like Bob Jones trying to move upfield, not able to get an attempt on net just yet here. Zeno comes in, looking for another shot, just wide this time here. And now Bob Jones trying to move back upfield with Virgil Grissom with a long shot, that's gonna go in, Taco with the score. It seems like they're coming right back into it here, Virgil Grissom finding those touches, they're just capitalizing on the mistakes. A nice challenge there from Taka, it bounces really in his favor. I don't really think he was intending to shoot that, but it works out, you take every goal that you can get. All right, two to zero here, Virgil Grissom up. Down in the series, but up in the game, two to zero. As we are three minutes, 20 seconds left in this game here, an attempt by Virgil Grissom. And Zeno with the score here. What a nice follow-up to after the first two games, they're up 3-0. Yeah, and just a long shot coming out from Zeno here. Nobody home to defend the net for Bob Jones. They're they're working on that aggressive style, and it's starting to bite them here a little bit, just punishing the open net. All right, here we are. Another kickoff. Mr. Studio Boost kind of just runs in the enemy, and now the ball going to be taken by Bob Jones. Gamer 1 with an attempt Ooh. just over. Gamer 2 not going to get it there. A nice follow-up attempt, but no goal just yet. Here's Zeno moving back up the field. An attempt from long distance just wide on the left side. Mr. Studio Boost here trying to defend. Ball in the right corner, able to knock it up field here as Waho going to knock it back down near these teams. Just battling back and forth despite a lead by Virgil Grissom. Bob Jones not out of this one yet. We still got half the game to go basically as Mr. Still your boost trying to defend this one. A big shot just over the net here. Zeno with a follow up and not able to get it on net. Gamer one moving back up the field here. All the way at the top, Taka comes down with the ball here as another defense. Bob Jones doing a good job defending but still haven't found the offense in this game. They have not, but I'm really impressed by the positioning in transition and on offense by Virgil Grissom as they're going to find another. Zeno with this one here. Four to zero for Virgil Grissom. Yeah, it's just there's such smart positioning. They're challenging at the right times. They're creating so much pressure by giving Bob Jones no space on defense and in the midfield. They're simply saying, we're going to come out. We're going to be right in front of you when you touch the ball. They're making it very difficult for them, and it's working. Here's another attempt for Gamer 1. This one going to be a bit wide as a follow-up attempt. Coming down. Oh, it's going to go in. No one was there for the defense. Gamer 2 with a long-distance goal. Yes, right off the kickoff, Bob Jones just gets a really nice goal here. Gamer 2 coming in on the wrong side of that ball. If you notice, had to angle his car around the far end of it to squeeze it in. Just a really nicely placed shot. It's difficult to stop off the kickoff. Everyone trying to get set. But they're not out of it, Bob Jones. All right, here comes Zeno with an attempt. Just me wide here, and he can't get the fall up either. Didn't have the angle for it. Ball coming back towards the net here, but cleared away by Mr. Still your boost. Back towards midfield. Gamer 2 moving up here, looking for it, but beaten to it by Waho. As another attempt, Gamer 1 looking for it, but gets knocked away before he can get his 
his uh, wheels on it. As Mr. Steely Boost with a long shot from half field. Gonna be cleared away. Well, actually still up in the air around the goal. A follow-up attempt not gonna be there here as everyone's just missing the ball right now, just sitting in front of the goal, but now finally cleared away by Taka here as he got 145 left in this one. Four to one, Bob Jones need three goals to force an overtime, potentially win this game. They are up two to zero in the series, but obviously don't want to drop one here to such you know, stiff competition. Here's a long shot by Gamer one, not going to quite go in. Gamer two now looking in midfield, trying to get this one back towards the net. He's going to miss this. Taka moving down the field here. Gamer one back for the defense, centering ball. Here comes Zeno with this shot. Oh, oh my! Too high, but now cleared away by Gamer one. Great that he recovered there. As we get a minute 20 left now, Taka knocks it away up the wall. Gamer one going to keep this. In the offensive end here, Zeno going to clear it away here. And Virgil Wissam just need to defend. I'm really impressed, impressed actually by both teams and their ability to make reads off the backboard from their own touches. Oh, Taka, Taka though, that might have put the icing on the cake there. The ball is sitting around in front of the net and he's able to finish it. And just as I'm saying it, again, these reads off the ceiling and off the backboard can be so difficult. The ball can sometimes bounce in unpredictable and unexpected ways. But both sides have really demonstrated an ability. When that ball is sitting above the goal near that backboard, they are finding the angles for their shots. They haven't quite found their mark yet, but they're very close. Well, here comes la one last attempt for Bob Jones here to try and salvage this game here. Is another shot going to go just wide right? Uh, this is Julia Boost on the ball, looking for another attempt, but able to swifts on that one. Zeno now moving the ball upfield on the left side here. And Virgil Grissom just need to defend for another 40 seconds or so here. They're up 5-1, four goal lead here. As that one's going to get cleared away by Waho. More collisions. <laughs> in front of the net here as Zeno and Taka moving up the field, looking for a centering ball here, but again, playing a bit more passive, only 30 seconds left as Waho comes back in. Just gonna keep the ball down towards Bob Jones's end here as Gamer 1 and Gamer 2 both in front of the net, but not able to clear it away just yet. Mr. Chili Boost here, looking to stop this one. Now gonna go up field, looking for a long pass from Gamer 1, but now it's gonna be blocked away by Virgil Grissom. 10 seconds left here, and it looks like it's all but over as Virgil Grissom gonna get on the board in the series, it looks like. Yes, this was a statement performance in this game from Virgil Grissom. They knew that they had to come out with a response of some kind, and what a way to do it. Just playing with absolutely no fear, making really smart, difficult challenges on the ball. Yeah, that's uh, five goals, nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, five, one, that's even, they just keep getting better and better um, as the series goes on here. Get on the board, nice job by them, five, one, did you like what you saw there? Did you think that now they have a chance of taking the series, they come back? But, you know, because Bob Jones, they looked, didn't look as good as they looked, uh, you know, in the previous two games, but Grissom just looked so much better. It seemed like a completely different team that time around. Yes, I do think it was, again, largely due to the ability to pressure Bob Jones in their own defensive third. When Bob Jones has the time and space to play patiently, you can tell they're so good. They look for each other for the passes, they can set up plays, and they can be very dynamic. When you take away the time, to use those patient plays. You have to be a bit more creative. You have to play under more pressure. I love the switch in the game plan from Virgil Grissom. It, it's sort of a chess match now between the two strategies. So Virgil Grissom back with a lot of pressure. How does Bob Jones deal with that? I, you know, Obviously less time, less space, more pressure. That's always tough to deal with. But what do you do when you want to play that patient style to deal with that sort of very aggressive Grissom attacking you? The key to dealing with a high pressure team is to get very long arcing clearances out of your own defensive third. You have to break the pressure from the opposing team and you have to force them to retreat. When you're forcing them back and you can play that transition, that's the biggest thing. So you, one, you have to hit the nice clearances, but then you also have to position aggressively so you can follow the big clearances. All right, well, here we are in own. our next game here. 0-0, zero, zero, of course, as we start this one off. And two to one in the series. Virgil Grissom behind by just one game. Of course, the defending champions. That one going to clear it away. Mr. Boost with an attempt on goal, but denied that time here as we've gotten more and more goals as the series have gone on. But, you know, the first game was really low scoring. Maybe just the nerves are gone now because it seems like a much more high paced game now with Virgil Grissom as a shot coming in. Zeno going to get that one blocked away, though. As Mr. Boost trying to turn it up back towards the enemy side. Long shot going to be knocked away, though, by Taka. Good defense there. He had to be back there to save that goal. It's game or two of the follow-up attempt. Just a little bit too high as Waho going to clear that one away to the right side here. Mr. Studio Boost coming down. But again, Virgil Grissom there to meet him as Gamer 1 trying to regroup here. But, you know, Virgil Grissom already on the attack, and he's going to knock it away. Not an arcing clearance there. The ball is going to come back down, and Bob Jones trying to make something happen here. Good pass to Gamer 1. Long shot. Going to be missed here as Waho is going to clear it away. And, you know, thanking. Zeno's probably thanking him there as he comes back and going to get a save, knocking it back up field. Gamer 1 with an attempt. 
or Gamer 2 rather, Gamer 1 here now as well. With Mr. Chili Boost alongside of him, trying to center this ball in front of the net. He can he get it? Yes, he can. Opens it up 1 0, Bob Jones. And what a nice adjustment for Mr. Steal Your Boost here. Coming out of that corner, gets a nice little second flip onto the ball, making the read, coming back down on the far side of it to swing it in. Very, very nice play from him. And what a goal for Bob Jones. Yeah, that was an amazing play. Just dribbled over him. Almost, I, get, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call that, but just dribbled the ball over him. What a, what a fantastic technical play there for Mr. Stilier Boost as Bob Jones up 1-0 here, trying to get to match point as a shot coming in for Gamer 1. Going to be knocked away, though. Taka there once again. Another shot going to be way wide, but now Gamer 1, or Mr. Stilier Boost actually going to get it there. Gamer 1 uh, not going to get his wheels on that. Mr. Stilier Boost with another goal. Yes, and look at the rotation as well. Just swinging right back in from the midfield. He can see that that ball is going to come back in front of the net. Really nicely well-placed shot. Top corner, you'll take that every time. All right, here we go. Three and a half minutes left here. Bob Jones up 2-0 and 2-1 in the series overall. As it looks like the attack is on for Virgil Grissom. A shot. Waho with the score here. He's not done yet. No, Virgil Grissom will have something to say about it. And this is what I mean about the challenge, just giving no space whatsoever. Oh, that's actually an own goal. Oh, for wow, Gamer yeah. One. We didn't quite catch that on the first oh. run of asking, but yeah, just sort of got in the way of his own teammate there, and that ball drifting into his own net. Waho will take the credit, though. He, he, he certainly he's, will. He's certainly fine with that here. As another long range attempt off the wall, but Mr. Jay Boost just there in time. The last second to knock that one away. Taka coming down, but knocked upfield here by Bob Jones. Gamer one and Mr. Boost on the chase here as the ball is going to get centered accidentally by Waho. But now he's up the field. A pass to him, perhaps. No, he's not going to get there. Mr. Stilier Boost now with the ball in his own half. He's doing some air dribbling here all the way up the field. No one has come to contest him just yet, but now Virgil Grissom on the attack. Mr. Stilier Boost with and some nice dribbles there, but not able to convert, perhaps with a goal or even a shot on net here. As Gamer 2 looking for the ball, but it goes a little bit over him. Mr. Stilier Boost back, though. It seems like he's always there. As now the shot on net by Virgil Grissom, but knocked away by Gamer 1, just barely saving that one here. Up the right side they go. Taka here looking for an attempt. As Mr. Stilier Boost again knocking it away. He's always there. A shot, but Waho going to get that one blocked early on here. As he looks for another attempt on the ball here. Zeno off the back wall. Gamer 2 going to clear it away, though. And it's such a nice sequence of play from Virgil Grissom there. Just looking to find that avenue. Not really getting there, but building the pressure and trying to work the defense as much as they can. Uh -oh. A long shot, and Mr. Stilier Boost. Oh, good save. That was a nice shot, but a better save. I didn't even see Waho in the net there. I thought that was just going to go straight in, but he makes a really nice jumping, diving attempt at it right under the crossbar to make the save. Good on him for getting it. Great, and now a good defense by Gamer2 with the ball. Sitting there so close. Oh, it just barely gets cleared away here. Taka now looking for an attempt on goal. Mr. Jibu's going to clear it away again. It just feels, oh, there's so much tension when that ball just sits in front of the net. As Waho here, but oh, Gamer2 with a nice play to defend that one. Has another shot going to come, but just a little bit too high there. And now Virgil Grissom regroup coming on for an attack again here as more collisions. And another long-range shot, but cleared away. Zeno now going to start the attack once again. Some pressure, though, by Bob Jones, as unfortunately Gamer 1 whiffs out on that one. Gamer 2 with a follow-up, and now the ball towards Virgil Grissom's nest, but cleared away here by Waho. Only a minute and a half left. Bob Jones up 2-1. Just got to hold on his lead. Virgil Grissom needs that evening goal. I think the advantage for Bob Jones here is with a lead, they can afford to stick to their more relaxed and more patient play style. They don't really have to try and force anything. They just have to be smart on the ball. Don't give away possession and don't give up the goal. A long range shot, but cleared away there. Nicely done. Bob Jones sturdy on the defense. There's another shot going to come in, but this one just wide. Waho off the back wall, but he's going to miss once again. Another attempt, but good defense by Bob Jones here. Only a minute left to go here. Mr. Stewie boost. Long range shot. Can they get back in time? Oh, no. He almost got it. Waho knocks it into his own goal. Didn't have the angle. He did not. I think this one was going in regardless. Mr. Stilier Boost just getting up really nice and high. That ball was angling in towards the net. Waho had to make a touch. Yeah. Just couldn't quite turn it all the way out. I think that'll probably be the game winner there for Bob Jones. Yeah, well, only 52 seconds left here. 3 to 1. Bob Jones looking to go on here to a 3 1 series lead. Get that you know, just a little bit closer to that championship here as. You know, the series may be starting to wind down. Bob Jones has been so good, but Virgil Grissom, I mean, they're the ones who's supposed to take this series here at Bob Jones with a, a really surprise effort. But, wow, these guys look so good here. Mr. Stewie Boost on the defense. 30 seconds remaining here. Taco with an attempt that gets turned away. Mr. Stewie Boost back up, but not going to get his hands on that one here as Gamer 2 back to defend and just going to clear this one away. 20 seconds left. 
Yeah, and I think if you're Virgil Grissom, you're at a point oh, now here where comes Taka. Oh, he's going to, oh, three to two. 15 seconds left. Taka giving themselves a chance now. Virgil Grissom on the brink of defeat, but Taka not done just yet here. And uh, just one more to get that evening up and force an overtime. And I was just about to say that you have to continue to play aggressive and play with confidence. You have to at least try and engineer a chance. 15 seconds, it's not impossible. Anything can happen. 15 seconds left. Now we got 13. Boss hit the ground for the game to end. Keep that in mind. So perhaps some aerials here could save it for them. Some air dribbling. But five seconds left. And Bob Jones have it in Virgil Grissom's end here. And it looks like they just can't get it up the field. They're going to try and keep it off the ground here. Waho coming in. One more second left here. Again, has to hit the ground. And oh. it will. A lot oh. of members of Bob Jones committed all the way up field. But none of them hit it. And eventually the ball just hit the oh. ground. They got pretty lucky on that one. That could have been disastrous for Bob Jones, let me tell you. Every single player up in the air at the last second, they're all just so focused on trying to get that ball on the ground and ending the game. None of them make contact, and if Virgil Grissom was in a better spot, that's a goal because there was no one left in the net. Yeah, they, they just oh my word. couldn't quite get the ball up field and, and just keep it off the ground. They're very challenging when you only got three people, and uh, even when the defense goes all the way back towards your end, there's just so hard to keep that ball off the ground. But a valiant effort at the end. They almost forced that overtime. Yeah, and you have to respect the effort, too, from Bob Jones. When, when they're all in the air like that, you have to anticipate that at least one of them is going to make the touch. You have to respect it in some way or another. It's just, it's so unexpected, you know, when that ball comes bouncing back in front of you and you can, just, you can see how open it is. It, it's very difficult, but yeah, Bob Jones, match point for them now. Yeah, I mean, only one game for Virgil Grissom so far. Three to one. I mean, Bob Jones has looked so good. The one game Virgil Grissom, you know, won, they looked pr pretty good. They looked sort of like that dominant team that you would expect from them. But the rest of the games, Bob Jones fe feel like they've been in control the entire time. They play that slow style, and sure, the pressure got to them in one game, but every other game, Bob Jones have just been in control of it. It seems like when they jump out to a lead, they play a little bit better. I think it allows them to, to stay a little bit more safe. When they're trying to play from behind, I think it can expose them somewhat in the sense that they have to go aggressive. But if they can find those early leads, or even just keeping the game close early, it sticks You know, it sticks to their uh, patience and tenacity. I. I, I think they can close this out if they continue to just work those patient passes. All right. Well, hopefully they can do that here. Virgil Grissom, what is their comeback plan here? They got a, they got a lot of work ahead of them. What do you think they need to do to come back in this one? Yes. Yeah, so backs against the wall. You have to win three straight now in order to win the title. It's just about fearlessness, right? You can't you can't be reserved in your play style. You just have you have to go for it. You don't have a choice anymore. You have to win games no matter what it takes. You have to be flying all around the field. You have to make great challenges, great shots, great saves. It's about fearlessness. All right, we'll see if Virgil Grissom can keep that pressure up here. What What is the biggest challenge with a match point? It feels like there's always a little block. The first three games sometimes come easy. What is it with that last game, the last game you need to take the championship that's the block? Is it just the pressure sort of gets to you? You realize, hey, wait, we're on the brink of winning, especially beating a team of Virgil Grissom's caliber. Is that what the mental block is, where it's just like the pressure all comes you know, down onto you? You realize, like, hey, we, we can't screw this up, guys. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of a few different things. One just being that, as you said, it is the state final. You, you know what is at stake. You know that there are people watching at home you know, watching, you know, your friends and family and everything. So there is that element of pressure built in. But specifically when you get to match point and when you have multiple shots to do it, you c it's easy to take the attitude of, oh, well, it's okay if we drop a game, we have another chance. Oh, it's okay if we, if we drop two games, we have another chance after that. I think teams tend to somewhat come off the gas a little bit when they're on match point. You really have to focus on doing the opposite, actually. I really think you have to just come out and come out swinging, playing strong, sticking with what has worked. When you let off, you can allow the other team to come back into it. I think part of the mental block is just saying, we need to end this right now. All right, so I want to go back to a goal we saw a little bit a while ago. Mr. Steal Your Boost. He had that amazing goal where it came from the right side, basically just dribbled the entire ball in the air and was able to knock it in um, once he got towards that net. How does that play happen? How, what, take me through the mechanics of that because that looks so amazing. Yes, yeah, so once he, once he picks up the ball in his own corner, he can touch it out with the boost in his car, but really the key to that play was using his second jump. So in Rocket League, you get an initial jump, but you can also get a double jump in the air, right? You only have a few seconds to use it. He waited until the very last moment, and it got that power and that little bit of a pop that you saw over the second defender. Once he gets that, he's still rotating over the ball. At that point, 
It's just pure instinct. You have to just continue to use your boost. You know that there's only one defender left, and he lands with a little bit of a pinch effect, right? When he comes back on the ground, his wheel just gets right on the corner of the ball, squeezes it in. It was a very nice display of technical skill. Yeah, but he's looked great this whole time. Gamer 1 and Gamer 2 have been great as well for Bob Jones. Hard to tell them apart sometimes. <laughs> I, like their, I like their naming theme. And it uh, looks like we are going to go to a small break here before we get into potentially our last game. They're on match point. We'll see if it's the last one. Bob Jones versus Virgil Grissom here. Three to one is a score. We'll go to a short break. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, welcome back after a short pause there. Just had to get everyone situated and ready to go. So again, just to remind you of the situation here, we have a best of seven series. Currently Bob Jones High School leading that series three to one. Match point. All the pressure online. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go here. Slight technical delays here, but we're ready to go. And Bob Jones, as we talk about all night, looking so good and, and looking to knock off Rosa Grissom, who defending champions, they look so good all season. But such a surprise tonight. Bob Jones look amazing. Yeah, again, they still have one more game to prove it, though. You, you have to push over that last step, that final barrier, and try and take down this title. So much pressure, so many nerves. I cannot possibly predict it. Again, Bob Jones has looked great so far, but we know what Virgil Grissom are capable of doing. Yeah. Do you think this delay is going to affect them at all? I mean, a little bit of delay can you know, sometimes settle nerves, and sometimes it makes it worse. Sometimes you get that time to recover. What do you think is going on in their minds right now? It's difficult to say. I would say from a player's perspective, I think a technical pause usually helps the team that is against match point. So in this case, Virgil Grissom. It, it gives you so much more time to just take a deep breath and relax and get ready. It, the pace of how quickly these games go and how quick the turnaround is between games can sometimes get to you as a player, especially if you're not used to competing in best of seven series. It can be exhausting. So having that bit of time to just sit back, take a deep breath, we're going to be good, we're going to take this down, three games straight for them, I think, I think it plays into their favor. All right, looks like we are ready to go here in potentially our final game here. Bob Jones on or are looking to end the series end the series here with a win. Three wins to one of Virgil Grissom here. We've got to fight back, win three in a row to take this one here. And away we go in game number five. A little bit of action to start things off here. Ball in midfield, 15 seconds in. Neither side with a shot on net just yet, but here's Zeno looking to make something happen. Ball moving down towards Bob Jones' end. A potential follow-up attempt. Zeno not going to hit it that one, though. Really nice defensive stand there from Bob Jones. Just denying that extra touch coming right underneath the crossbar. Ball's in a dangerous spot, but they're very well positioned to deny that chance. Here, ball sitting on the right side of the vertical distance net. Gamer 2 looking for an attempt. Not going to hit it. A little bit too high there as Gamer 1 back to defend here. But oh no, it gets knocked away and Virgil Grissom open up. 1-0 here, starting to look for their comeback. Yes, this is such a huge step for them. You have to find that first goal and get ahead. Wahoo there, as we mentioned, just giving absolutely no space to the Bob Jones defender, cutting off the angle for the clearance and putting it right into the net instead. It's only 40, uh, about 45 seconds in or so and Already with a score on the board here. Game five, and Virgil Grissom up against the wall here. Trying to stay in this one is a good defense there by Waho. You know, a goal right after there is going to be a big momentum swing back in Bob Jones' favor, so good defense there as Gamer 1 trying to move the ball back up here as Zeno in the middle. Not going to get his hands on that. Mr. Chilly boost here with a, with a long dump in. It looks like a fall up now, but no attempt on net. You're going to sail wide there from Gamer 2. Gamer 1 back to defend, looking for an attempt. Back towards the enemy end and will be knocked forward by Zeno here. This is Studio Boost once again getting a clearance, but kept in by Wahoo. Now Taka and Zeno on the attack looking for a play, but now back towards Wahoo. He's got to make a big defense. He's going to get it and knock it away. Nicely done there. Yeah, really nice job of playing that early, getting up in the air quickly to defend that touch, just cutting off every angle that you can. And really nice job of reading the play from him. As, as key as it is to get ahead in this game, you don't want to become level again on a chance that is easy. You want to make the other team work for every touch and every pass. So being able to deny those is big. All right, well, here we go. Three minutes, 10 seconds left here. 1-0 Virgil Grissom in the lead here. Still a lot of Rocket League to be played, but they are in the lead. Could force us to another game. We'll see if they can hold on here as we are in game five. And these guys, they've come out great after this break. Here's a long shot going to come in for a game or two, but knocked away of Virgil Grissom. Misses to your boost. Knocking to the right side, looking for a potentially bounce off the wall to himself. Now in front of the net. Oh, can't quite get the shot off. Very close. Yeah, and you'll notice that he goes for the bump and demo play on the defender. They're just simply trying to take him away out of the play. Doesn't make contact, but does force the defender to jump out of the way of the ball as well. Was almost effective there. I wonder if they'll go back to that. Here we go, Gamer 1 on the attack. Now a pass is still your boost. They're going forward. Now looking for a play, but knocked away. Good defense by Virgil Grissom there. As Gamer 1 with a shot forward, he's going to get it. Evens it up 1-1 one, one with 2.21 left. I think Gamer 1 sort of snuck behind the defense here. I'm not sure anyone really saw him pushed up that hard. Taka trying to jump up, make contact, can't quite do it. Gamer 1 will take that every day of the week. 
halfway through this game, level terms once again. Yeah. Taka with the last, his last man back, wasn't able to quite get the clearance away, and then it was just no one back to defend there. Game along with his first goal of this match, uh, in this game rather, as Waho gonna clear this one away. Mr. Boost gonna miss that as game or two back to defend, but now Virgil gets him on the attack, a long shot, gonna hit wide. Here's another follow-up play, and already a lead again here for Virgil Grissom. Oh, and this is such a nice play from Wayho here. Look at the patience and look at the understanding, right? Just jumping right in front of it, sticking it right into that near post, just waiting for the mistake to come his way. Very quickly, back again in the lead. Yep, two minutes left here, Virgil Grissom up one goal once again, as Long attempt on net, gonna be cleared away here. And now Gamer 2, Mr. Dilly Boost back to take this one here. Knocked back up the wall, Gamer 2 here, pushing it forward. Gamer 1, not gonna get his hands on that. Cleared away by Virgil before he can. As Zeno now with the ball around midfield, gonna knock it up in the air, but actually over the defender here as Mr. Dilly Boost is back now here. Pass forward, Gamer 1 not gonna get onto that one though. Mr. Dilly Boost looking for a centering pass, knocked away by Taka, good defense there. Gamer 2 back, trying to keep this one away from his net, but here was Zeno in attempt, but nope. Good job of Gamer 1 to clear that one, or Gamer 2 to clear that one, and Gamer 1 now on the ball. Shot, long distance Virgil Grissom gonna be over the net here as Gamer 1 Gamer 2 both back to knock this one back towards Virgil Grissom's end, but a long shot Ooh. here. Can they get back? No! A midfield goal from Waho. I think Waho, again, just understanding when the defense is open for him, positions himself on the wall to put that right back on net. He can just, there's no one in the net. He can see it, he has the angle the whole way. A really nice, well-placed finish there. And Virgil Grissom storming back. Well, they're looking to force a game number six here. Bob Jones, again, just need one more game to take the championship. They're up 3-1 in the series here, trying to finish it out. Can they? Here with a goal. Gamer 2 going to make it within one here. One thirteen left. Bob Jones want to end it here. They certainly do. They are not going to let Virgil Grissom simply walk away with a victory here. Gamer 2 jumping right on that ball, just putting it into the side of the net. A really nice pass into the middle. Well executed for Bob Jones. Oh boy, here we go again, right? At 113 left, one goal difference now. Bob Jones down one, but could force overtime, potentially take this series right here and now. Gamer two with the ball, but it's gonna be knocked away here by Virgil Grissom, and now Bob Jones, only have one defender back, and he's not there, and oh, almost got there in time, but Zeno just sneaks in before he can recover. Really nice element of control here from Zeno, sees that ball coming down, cuts right back in. Look at the nice little touches that he gets to set that up for himself allows himself to position behind the ball, back through on net, nobody home. Woo, man, the offense coming through for Virgil Grissom. Yeah, Gamer 2 almost able to recover, but just not quite able to, or, uh, and now it looks like he's back this time for it, as he's gonna knock it back towards Zeno, who will clear it away, all the way up to the top of the arena here now, into the right corner. Mr. Studio Boost gonna knock it away, as the ball moving back and forth here. The game's slowing down a little bit, but. Bob Jones need to push the pace here. There are two goals down with only 30 seconds left. Here comes Gamer 2, but not able to get the shot on here as Virgil Grissom move up the field here, looking for a bounce off the back. Zeno with a fifth goal. That might be it here, forcing a game six. Simply punishing the mistake from Bob Jones here. Both of the attackers jumping at the same ball, neither making contact. Zeno sees this, he understands it. He gets a very smart read on the play, just takes his time, puts it in. He's guaranteeing the victory here for Virgil Grissom. All right, here we go. Five to two, 31 seconds left here. The kickoff starts. Looks like you know three goals in 20 seconds, 25 seconds doesn't seem that easy to do, but Bob Jones trying to at least end the game here. I mean, going to a game six wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but obviously you want to end it as soon as possible. Don't want to risk it here, but Virgil Grissom, they're hungry. They want this championship here. They got three games in a row to do it, um, but hey, they're already off with one. It looks like they might have a chance still here, forcing game six already. Only five seconds left to clear away, but looks like this game is all but over. And one more attempt, it blocked away. Bob Jones, not able to finish it here. Virgil Grissom take their second game. Yeah, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. You have to get the first game, of course, if you're gonna make this three game run. They managed to do it. I really like the style that they had here. Just showing some fearlessness and that tenacity that we're looking for. Not giving the Bob Jones time and space to really play their game. Uh, they did a great job there, five to two. Um, great, great, great game for Virgil Grissom here, and they got two games to go here, but one down, two to go. I think that their, you know, their headspace must be much better after that pause or the technical delays here, because that really helped them. It seemed like they came out firing and just, you know, kept the entire game up that pressure, which really shut down Bob Jones. It certainly did. It allows them that breathing space. It, so much of it is just trying to stay calm and relaxed and focused. You know that the task ahead is not easy, 
It was never going to be easy in the first place, right? This is the grand final. These are the two best teams in this state going at it. It was never going to be simple. Now that you're in this spot, there's nothing that you can do to fix the pass. You can only look forward. So great effort from them to get the first one. It's still a long way to go, though. All right, well, another chance for Bob Jones. They got two more here. We're moving on to game six here. They've won three games, just need one more to close it out here. But Virgil Grissom looking for two in a row to take their championship back. And uh, already off here in game number six. And first attempt blocked away by Mr. Steelier Boost. And uh, some action already early on, but no shots on goal just yet here as Gamer 2 going to knock it back towards his own end to try and recover here. But Zeno, oh, going to collide with Mr. Steelier Boost. And the ball going to just harmlessly go to the left side here as now a recovery by Gamer 2. But the ball actually just sitting perilously in front of the net. Finally knocked away. But here comes another attempt looking, no, not a good angle for Virgil Grissom there. Not able to find the shot. Although there were several members of Bob Jones in position here. As now the ball moving upfield here. And Taka there to defend. No big deal just yet as they move back up. Bob Jones, I mean, they're doing a good job so far. They, they kind of went down early on last game. But so far, the pace of the play, a little bit you know, more to their liking, perhaps. It seems that way initially. Virgil Grissom had a really nice opportunity there. But some of these bounces that the ball can take in front of that are so difficult to read beforehand. As, again, Bob Jones, they got to get more set on defense, I think. Some of these touches on the defensive side are not that great. I think they want to clean that up a little. But plenty of time to go through that. Still so much well, left Here comes game. a shot from Bob Jones. They're going to find a goal. Mr. Steel, your boost. Opens it up 1-0, 3.50 left here. And uh, a big lead for Bob Jones. They want to get ahead, like you said, early so they can play their pace of game here. Big goal to start it off 1-0. Yeah, Mr. Stewie Boost just capitalizing on the opportunity there. The defensive touch from Virgil Grissom wasn't great. That ball just lurking in front of the net. Mr. Steelier Boost jumping in the right spot at the right time, finding the goal. Oh, long range shot, Mr. Stewie Boost, though, with the defense here after just scoring the first goal of this game here. Knocked up in the air. Two members for Virgil Grissom going at it. Shot going to go wide, though, as Gamer 2 trying to clear this one away. Gamer 1 now with the ball, dribbling it. But taken away here by Zeno, now looking for an offensive play. Mr. Studio Boost here to knock it away. Ball floating softly towards midfield, though. No one found a touch just yet. Mr. Studio Boost knocking it back towards his teammates. Gamer 1 moving up the wall here with Gamer 2 in tow. As now Zeno going to move it back down towards Bob Jones and Zeb, but Gamer 2 there. Taka comes up with the follow up. And overall, pace just sort of, pace of play is still quick, but it seems like more of a. Uh, neutral area play right now. Neither team really able to get the shots on net for the last couple seconds here as now Zeno moving towards Bob Jones. Is that just wide? He can't get the fall off either here, but now comes Taka and that's going to be it. An evening score here. 1-1 Taka with the goal. Really nice individual setup here from Zeno. Just simply has to get it by the last defender. So much trust in your teammate to be in the right spot there. He knows that if he gets the ball past the last man, it'll open up that free opportunity. He's trusting his teammate to finish. Taka's there. He does. Level terms once again. Oh, a little bit of stalemate there for a couple seconds. And then the opening for Virgil Grissom emerged, and they, they finished. One to one here, about 2.45 left here, almost halfway through the game. And Bob Jones tied. They're looking to find the win here. Don't want to go to a game seven and put it all on the line. They want to finish it here before they you know, get to that point here. But Virgil Grissom hungry. Already come off one win, and now a long shot by Bob Jones. Gamer 2 out of nowhere. A long arcing shot finds the goal. Yeah, this is just so well placed from Gamer 2. He beats Waho to the first touch. And notice the little spin that he puts it right in the air as he makes contact. Just allows that ball to dip under the crossbar. So difficult to read. Really nicely placed. And with half the game left to go, Bob Jones have the one goal lead 2-1 to one here. And now a shot, well, a dump in by Mr. Stilly Boost. Gamer 1 with the centering pass here, but now cleared away by Virgil Grissom. Zeno on the chase here. Going to find Mr. Stilly Boost there as he's going to knock it away from him. Zeno not able to find the shot. Gamer 1 back again defensively here. Bob Jones have been good on defense for the most part, but Virgil Grissom can score a bunch in a hurry here as now Gamer 1 on the chase. And Zeno, or Waho and Gamer 1 going to be fighting over his Taka just going to clear it all the way down. Now oh, my God. Shot. Mr. Stillier Boost isn't there. He's not in the air. And oh, my goodness, what a goal from out of nowhere. Incredibly long distance. Taka scores. Well, that's an own goal, really. I mean, holy cow. The, the touch is so dynamic. I don't think that the defender can expect that whatsoever. It's really unfortunate. That is an incredible own goal in its own sense. But my God, what a horrible spot to concede. Well, now two to two here. Two minutes left. And Bob Jones had the lead, but now have given it up to a kind of unfortunate own goal with a, with a bit of a rough touch because of a great play on the other side by Virgil Grissom-Staka. And 
Now Bob Jones need to get this lead here. Don't want to force this overtime. That, that's always nerve-wracking here as Gamer 1 with a touchdown to the enemy side. And Gamer 2 here to follow it up, but not able to get much on it here as Gamer 1 looking for the shot. Can't quite get it off, though. Zeno knocks it away. Gamer 2 with a follow-up, though. And now Virgil Grissom trying to clear this one out. And goes Gamer 1 is back, and he's going to knock it back into Virgil Grissom's end. Here's Mr. Chili Boost, but knocked away before he can get it. And Virgil Grissom on the attack here. Gamer 1 back in the fence, but Gamer 2 and Mr. Studio Boost already have cleared this one out here. But again, both sides need to score to win this one. Otherwise, we're going to overtime here. We have a tie game at 2-2. Long shot here. And oh, nah, the Hawk is actually going to knock it away. Maybe not what he was looking for there. As right well. idea, but just not quite into the net. It, it yeah, could have set, <laughs> set up another angle, but again. Hold on, the ball in front. Oh, cleared away by Gamer 2. Good job by Bob Jones. Yeah, and you can sort of feel the tension in the gameplay from both teams, right? Neither really willing to, you know, force themselves into a spot where they might make a mistake and allow a conceding goal. Nobody really wants to be on the end of that here. It's smelling like overtime. Well, Gamer 2 in front of the net, trying to clear it away. Oh, my goodness, great defense there. Almost let up the goal with only 30 seconds left. This is Studio Boost going to knock it down to the enemy end here. Bob Jones trying to recover after a very close attempt now. Uh, back on the attack for Jerusalem, but taken away by Gamer2. On the attack is Bob Jones looking for a play, centering pass. No one going to find it there, just goes to the left side now here as Zeno here going to knock it forward. Not able to find a teammate, but he will chase the ball himself. Going to knock it towards the middle here, but all of Bob Jones' members back to defend that one. Ten seconds left. Looks like we're going to overtime, but maybe one last attempt for Bob Jones. Can they get it? No, Virgil Grissom going to knock it back down towards the other end as Mr. Studio Boost going to knock it back at just both teams maybe conceding overtime here as one more attempt. Can they do it? Oh, great save at the last second there. Bob Jones looking to force overtime. Can the ball hit the ground? Oh, my. It's still in the air. It's been about 10 seconds and now finally to overtime 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, that's one of the dangerous things about trying to score on that zero-second mark is if you don't get it to go, it allows a counter-attacking chance for the other team. Bob Jones nearly pulling it off coast to coast, but... Overtime we go, so much pressure. A goal for Bob Jones takes the whole series. Well, like, yeah, it could all end here. Virgil Grissom trying to force a game seven here, but Bob Jones certainly don't want to go there. Long shot. Good save there by Virgil Grissom. It can all end in an instant. Here we are on the attack. Bob Jones looking to finish things. But now cleared away by Virgil Grissom. Mr. Studio Boost knocks it back down into the right corner here. And now Waho going to clear it out, but Miss Gamer 2 with a long shot. Not going to be on net, but looking for the rebound. Nope, not going to find it there. Just again, too high. As Virgil Grissom here, Taka knocks it down. And now it's still your boost with a long shot, just a bit too high. Looking for the rebound. Can't, no, good clear by Taka, almost losing the series there. Mr. Steelier Boost has had so many goals this series, not able to quite finish there, there for Bob Jones. What a good look for Mr. Steelier Boost. Just didn't quite find the power at oh, the end of that touch. Pass the gamer too. Can he finish it here? No. Not able to quite get the angle here. Mr. Steelier Boost, though, back towards the net. Taka clears it away. Now the ball's still just in front of the net. So dangerous of an area here, but Virgil Grissom able to clear it back towards half field. There's been so much pressure by Bob Jones in this overtime. They know that they can end it with a goal. Long shot. Oh, oh my goodness. Last second save there by Taka. And now clear uh, towards the front of the net again. Taka clears it. Looking to move it up field, but Gamer 2 here. Going to knock it back towards Virgil Grissom's end. In the corner he goes, looking to maybe center the ball here. No one there just yet for Bob Jones, but now Mr. Street Boost comes into support. Gamer 1 there as well, but back of the field goes Zeno with the ball. Big collision there. As now Mr. Street Boost with the ball, looking for something towards the middle here. Reinforcements come in from Gamer 2. And it looks like no pass available. No one for Bob Jones in the middle to receive that one. Here's now knocked back towards their end. But Mr. Dubu's long shot. Crossbar, no! It goes in. 3-2, to two. Bob Jones take it. They just absolutely strike at the perfect time. Bob Jones, they were really on the offensive half of the field nearly this entire overtime. Eventually, the defense had to crack. Congratulations to the Bob Jones High School Fusion. They take down the AHSAA state title. Wow. I mean, an incredible game goes six games and almost forced a seventh overtime it took for Bob Jones to finish that one, but a fitting goal to end it just in that top right corner, beautifully played. So nicely done from them. And it's a team effort. That's what I really like about this Bob Jones team. Every single one of them getting in on the action. They're passing to each other. They're looking for each other on every single play that they could. Really nice team effort. And what a hot run through this bracket. Again, they didn't come in as one of the higher-ranked seeds, but they came out strong in this playoffs, and they managed to win the whole thing. Uh, great names, great play, great everything. They take it all. Yes, they absolutely did. Congratulations to them. Yeah, so Virgil Grissom not going to be able to defend that title. Well done to them, though, but only one loss all season, and they come in here and 
lose a, a best of seven to, to Bob Jones High School, who have endured a lot with you know technical issues during the season, and then even in the finals didn't get away from it there. Unfortunate for them, but they still battled through it all and won the won the entire thing. Really well done there to Bob Jones High School. Fantastic play from them. A pleasure to watch. Absolutely. Such a great series. Again, congratulations to both teams to getting this point in the season. It takes so much work and effort and commitment to get to this point. So no matter what, you can hang your head high. And an amazing series here. we got more to come, though. League of Legends and Rocket League in the future here. So with that, we'll, we'll, take a sh we'll uh, go to Necra here, our host, and then we'll uh, be ready for some more games in the future. So stay tuned. Kia Simperino, it's what an incredible series and congratulations to Bob Jones High School Fusion for taking home the championship. They are now your fall 2019 champions for Play Versus. What a spectacular series and it was so close, but overcoming adversity, that high school team is going to be able to take home the championship. Now, coming up next, we have League of Legends where Bob Jones is actually going to make a second appearance for the Alabama State Championships versus Thompson High School. So when we come back from the break, we're going to have that action for you. Overwhelmingly, the, the support has been there with, man, I wish that had been available when I was in high school. I guess it was last fall. Some of the students were starting to go, hey, can we get a gaming club going? But then uh, word came down that our athletic director was looking for someone to coach esports. And I said, this is something that, that's right up my alley. You know, I've, I've always been in tune with the geek kids, you know, the geeks, the nerds, whatever. That's my, that's my scene, that's what I was in high school. I mean, I've done it all, I've done computer-based stuff. I played World of Warcraft for about 10 years. The 360's in the house right now. The main thing that I did to help find interested students is I told all of my classes, if you have friends who are interested, please send them this way, that anybody can join. I'm not gonna limit this. For our first season playing, we have come in at approximately 23 kids. I've got one full League of Legends team. I've got three uh, Rocket League teams. That's where we started at, and I'm looking forward to it growing. To, to get started in this, it was let me learn about the games that are out there. Let me see what, what I need to figure out, and then I figured out that the kids are going to know more than I ever will. The opportunity for any kid to be skilled at something and be able to have the chance to pass that knowledge on. To look at somebody else and go, hey, I realize I'm not gonna be here for more than a couple of years and we want this team to keep doing well. Let's let's get your skill up so that you can take my spot. Absolutely, that's part of giving the kids that bit of ownership in the sport. This is the first time we've done this at our school. How much of a legacy do you want to leave? Do you want to be the guy that's helping bring the next generation here at the school along? Or are you going to be the one who's like, no, I'm the best and I don't want anybody else to challenge me? When I've got my lead for League of Legends going, okay, we're invading here, I'm marking the point. Everybody get here, get here. They're, they're learning how to really work together and develop their skills that they're going to be able to use the rest of their lives. Here's your place where you can come in and be part of a team. Esports gives that kid who, who is a gamer that chance to be involved in the school and maybe help them develop more school pride than what they've had. They can say, hey, I was part of this. And that they now have the opportunity to letter in it gives them a reason to go out and say, hey, you know, maybe I do want to buy that letterman's jacket. Maybe I do want to build some memories about high school that will last and, and be worthwhile. Ultimately, being a coach is opening doors for students to find their way to belong in a school that they don't have through any other means. So let's grow it. Let's make the, the school a more welcoming place for everybody.